we should do it. I don't want to stick out. Soft chair. No, 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 no. I'm not sitting in that. No. Dude, I wish we could go into the bakery, but I can't eat any of that shit. Really? Gotta get the right mushrooms. I didn't start, like, getting into, like, Korean food until I was, like, an adult, like, on my own volition, because my mom was adopted and, like, raised by white people. <laughs> so, like, I didn't eat this stuff growing up, but, like, as an adult, I wanted, I felt like food was probably, like, the easiest way to get in touch with my culture. Like, I feel like in elementary school, I was, like, the only Asian kid I knew. I had, like, no, I didn't, I had no fucking idea, like, what that meant, like, what it meant to be Asian. I knew I wasn't Chinese, but they would call me Chinese, and I had no way to, like, contextualize, like, who I was and why I was different from them. Definitely, like, a big part of the lyrics that I write and stuff is, um, like, coming, coming from a place of, like, um difficulty around like identity which I think mostly tends to manifest with like transgender stuff I've, I've always felt confused as to like where I could fit in to like categories that would not only help other people make sense of me but would help me make sense of me because also being like half Asian too once I got older it was like I was couldn't necessarily fit in with white kids because I looked kind of Asian and then for the Asian kids I was like too white because I like didn't speak my language I didn't listen to Korean music like you know, so it was, like, too white or too Asian for, like, either side. It was always hard for me to find, like, an, I, like, an experience, you know? Because I think the thing with, like, categories and culture and stuff like that is because you have, like, a shared experience with people. And it was hard for me to figure out, like, what my experience was and, like, who I shared that with, who I could talk to about it. Like, having a sense of community and, yeah, I don't know. It was, it's so definitely, I think my lyrics are a lot about that, like, kind of that that confusion and like looking for that sense of looking for that sense of self and like understanding my experience you know what I mean I just yeah I, I appreciate being Asian and like being an aggressive music and being able to have like a different perspective and share that with people you know like I think it's sick the thing I remember most is my mom telling me that we weren't Chinese and that's a whole complicated thing with like like Taiwanese politics. My mom was always telling me like, oh, like we're here just because we can get our food here, but we're not like them. My mom's from Kaohsiung and my dad is also technically from Kaohsiung, but he was raised partly in China as well because my grandpa was very uh, traditional in the fact that he wanted to go back to China. But he kept thinking like democracy was going to take over China because he agreed with that, but it never did fully at least. So they never went back. In Taiwanese culture, being a man is having a family, carrying on the last name, that sort of tradition. When I got diagnosed with depression when I was like eight, they were like, my dad was like, that's not real, like, he's weak. And my mom, that's when like, her change of heart really hit in and it was just like, no, like, that's my son, whatever he's feeling is real. My dad's like extremely depressed. He, he'll never admit it until the day he dies, but it's just, I don't know. Growing up Asian has its perks, but it also has its downsides, you know? I talk a lot about stereotypes. Growing up in San Jose is a little different because Asians aren't just like the model minority. There's like hood ass Asian fools, you know, like Vietnamese Crips and whatnot. And growing up, like the local sheriffs thought I was a drug dealer, like just from how I looked. So I have a song called 245A, which is the charge I was charged with when I was 16. And it's about how I felt I was treated by the police. In no way am I speaking for like all Asian people. I'm sure they disagree with me, but um, it's about that and also about how I feel in my own skin. It's always a battle between am I American or am I Taiwanese? And it's not always a battle. Sometimes it's just like I'm in acceptance about it and I embrace who I am. But it depends on what side of the bed I wake up on.